YouTube, what's up? My name is Chicken Fried Rice, and today we are going to be playing some Ruse on the uh, map Strategist. This is going to be a uh, four on four, so two teams. This game I'm going to be playing as the British. So this game we did something quite fun, all these guys and me. Uh, what we decided to do is we all chose a random nation, which all went on the random nation selection. So everyone got random crap. They got the better part, I think, because they got Germany. Like, cause we got two Italians, and not that Italy is not good, but they don't have, they don't have the units that have the power laid on in the game. It's, Italy is only a strong beginner game unit. So this game, I'm uh, gonna be playing as the British. I'm gonna be making an air fleet, cause that's usually what the people that play as British do. And um, as the game progresses, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip the majority of the uh, boring part of the game because. This is just going, what's going to happen here is this guy, Japanese, makes a beachhead right here. And you guys will see. And for about half the game, he just stays there. And everything just kind of stagnates. And nothing big happens. You know, I send the airstrike, everyone's lost, all my planes die. I rebuild, do the same, and he rebuilds. So that's always annoying. So I kept doing that for a while. And then later on in the game, it gets much more interesting. So for you guys... Just for the sake that you guys aren't don't get bored, I'm going to fast forward into the game. But before I do that, just look at this. This guy's got an army of tanks right in the middle of the other guy's base. That's that's impressive. And that's one of the great things that gave us an advantage this game is we kicked this guy's ass early on in the game, so he didn't exist anymore. Like only his two bunkers existed, and all this was taken care of him. Then they were down to three. Even though we didn't leave a bunch of units there, the reason for that is because, well, all those airplanes would take us out. But we knew that that was one of them down, because here, if I go and camp neutral, there you go. One of the guys is already out of the game. All right, guys, going to fast forward now. All right, guys, we're a little later on in the game, I think, like, uh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes, yeah, from last where we left off, maybe a little less. Um, as you can tell, I've got a huge amount of, well, not a huge amount. I've got a good amount of Lancasters. My fighter bomber's over there helping that guy out. I'm going to recall them soon because, well, we discovered that there are other things. And uh, this is when uh, the Japanese here establishes a beachhead. This guy gets completely owned. And um, I'm just saying this guy did not do a good job because Italy is very good at pumping out cheap units in mass quantity. This guy did not know how to do that. So, right now the Japanese are moving in. So I was like, he was like, okay, I need air support. And I'm like, all right, just let me regroup all my fighter bombers. So I let all my fighter bombers regroup. The reason why I do this is because I want all of them there at once. So like that I can do a combined attack to um, maximum damage, pretty much. That's the idea. So all my planes are there now. And as you can tell, this guy's starting to push him back, push him back, and he's going to take the city, and he's going to hold that city for like three quarters of the game. So I go in with my Lancaster and my fighter bombers, and I do some damage. Not as much as I would like, but it definitely does uh, slows him down. Sadly, that costs me a large amount of planes, so that kind of sucked for my Air Force. So as we continue, uh, he's getting attacked on this side. Well, not yet, but there are tanks willing to come in on this side. And then he's got a crap load of Japanese just sitting there. And the Japanese are just going to sit there for a long time. And just going to stay there. And these tanks, well, there's going to be a few offensive with these tanks. But I'm going to stop all of them with my fighter bombers, so I'll save my ally. So uh, right now, guys, going to fast forward later on in the game because this is just going to be a boring stalemate from now on. All right, so guys, right now we are back in the middle of the uh, battle, as we say. So um, my Italian friend here, he's trying to push out these um, Japanese guys that are uh, taking over his island slowly and surely. And look at this giant army, and he's got more reinforcements coming across that bridge. And the reason why I mainly hesitated to help is every time I sent any airstrike, none of my fighters would make it back. And this guy also had uh, fighters. He didn't have fighter bombers. He just had fighters so like that. He could chase down my planes and shoot them down after. So I went here on the offensive just a bit, you know, make sure we uh, get some damage. Because my ally was pushing too, so I want to push with him. Make sure that we can uh, 
have a good relationship as a team, if you want to say that. But this is really the best way to deal damage is to have synchronized push with air units and artillery and all that. You really need to have all those pieces working together if you want to have these pushes working for you. So he's trying to make the push, and I'm, my planes are all refueling, and he wants air support as usual. I think he asked air support so many times during this game, it was impossible. So our little offensive failed, and he's just rebuilding. But in the meantime, if you look back here, he made a base. He took the time to make a base in my base. So now he's got a, a lot more income than I do. He's got a crap load of admins. When I looked there, I was like, oh, okay, maybe I should start making admins at the place. Because during the time he, uh, he was making all that, I was just constantly uh, firing at these guys and rebuilding my army nonstop. So that cost me a lot of money. In the meantime, he was rebuilding, which is a good teamwork uh, ethic. And uh, now he's making an airfield. He's making some planes and all that. He's got some artillery. You know, his army is really starting to shape up. And on this side of the field, well... The other Italian guys all over the place, he's just murdering this German dude. Even though Germany's got much more advanced tanks, this guy's just got everything. He's got anti-tank, he's got artillery. Because Italy, it's so cheap to produce that you can have lots of everything. And uh, it might not be the best, but it does its job pretty darn well, usually. So we are going to fast forward a little later on in the game. But guys, maybe five minutes at the max. Alright guy, not even two minutes later in the game right here, we have my ally doing a massive offensive. He is moving out on that side, and he's also moving in on here, but the problem is, is that he has this bunker here that was kind of like slowing down his advance. He wanted me to take it out. <coughs> Sorry about that, dry throat. But he uh, then the enemy starts sending this massive army of units, which I have the pleasure of absolutely destroying with my... A uh, regular sized amount of air fleet. I would say it's not a massive air fleet. But as you can tell, um, I will be doing some damage because he needs these planes to kind of kill people. So I have like half my airplanes on the ground, which is not good right now. But look at this guy. He's just destroying. Japanese just sending huge amount of units towards him and this guy's just destroying everything. So that's going very, very, very well for him. And uh, we got some mouse reinforcements. The German dude sent over a mouse, uh, sent one or two mouses over, just because we asked him we need some uh, units. So he's like, all right, no problem. Because he's got, look at this, he's got no one attacking him. He's just all safe, you know, relaxing and all that, probably taking a drink or two. In the meanwhile, we're actually fighting a war over here. We have units coming out of our ass. Well, enemies coming out of our asses. And here, right here, I did a good offensive. You know, I'm taking down planes and all that. And you've got our allies air cover too. So all of our, um, all the air units, all the teams really came together here. And then this guy is, um, has ME-262s. He can't, he sent them in. And these things just ripped. The ME-262s are really the best fighters in the game. They just came in killed like each of them killed one plane and then just took off none of them lost he probably only lost two or three to anti-aircraft fire besides that nothing those things are absolutely destructive if you want to have air superiority the me 262s are the way to go and every time i play as germany i always have at least one airfield filled with them because they are just so effective at keeping control of the skies so right here as the game's going on, we've got our Italian ally from down there. His name is Lim. He's pushing in by the side, and this guy's got nothing to protect. And then uh, he's also pushing in here. And then um, this guy, I can't pronounce his name. It's like, you uh, know what, I'm not even going to try because it's so long. But he's got this huge stack of doom, and he's going in, and he wants me to blow up that bunker, as you can see. He put a flare. So that thing, me, even though there's just one bunker it can still do a lot of damage to his army so I go in bomb it and try and bomb it bomb it bomb it and then there it goes that bunker is taken care of and then I send my fleet of amazing planes 
so that they can start destroying them. And then happily for us, everyone surrenders, and that's the end of the game. So anyways, guys, as usual, thanks for watching. Leave your comments below. Please subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys all next time.